Hello, this is part 2. Thanks for watching part 1. On this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create neomorphism elements using buttons, but within more depth. I'm also going to teach you a little bit of how to prioritize it. Great, so without further ado, let's get into business. We'll start creating neomorphic buttons and then we'll use some of them and apply it to the app. I'm creating a frame of 1020 by 650 and I already know the color that I want to use for the background. I'm using the same one as I used for the app. I'm copying code. I'm just copy and pasting it. Check. Press shift while dragging. So for the square, I want 100 by 100 and it will give the same exact size dimensions on one side to the other. Using the same background color and then effect drop shadow X and Y 12 blur we want to double it so it will be 24 and i want it on a hundred percent black level of intensity and then we're going to add a another drop shadow or in negative for the other side so minus 12 x and y and blur 24. here i would like white i think 30 percent looks pretty good Perfect. Okay, so here we just created our first button. Now I'm going to create a component, just clicking up here on this icon, and then to find it, you have to go to assets, and then I'm writing re uh, for rectangle, and here it is. So just drag it, and there you are. Same rectangle, exactly the same with the same properties. Copying it and Cutting off the edges to 30 and then I can uh, copy another one and convert it into a circle, so at 50. Okay, I'm just moving these further down. Okay, so we just created the first pattern. Great. Okay, let's do the second one. So I'm creating a square of 100 by 100, same color background. Here we're using inner shadow, so I'm going to use a inner shadow of X and Y8 and blur 16, 100% black. And I'm selecting another inner shadow of minus 8 X and Y and blur 16 white at 30%. Amazing. I'm creating a component and I'm going to assets and I'm just going to drag it. I'm copying both of them and here I'm cutting off the edges to 30 and then the next one to 50. Great. To create the next pattern, I'm going to copy the square and I'm going to duplicate the square. For that, I'm pressing Command plus D to duplicate and I'm placing it in the center. 6 by 76, then we want 12 pixels around the first square. I'm hiding so the square inside, I'm going to hide the effects in our shadows perfect looking good now i'm creating a group command plus g what well, selecting these and command plus g and i'm writing the name which is going to be pattern three I'm creating a component and then I'm going to assets, copy it, place it, so all of them they look the same. And okay, so for the second pattern, I'm going to cut the edges to 30, and then for the third one, we want a circle, so 250. 
perfect great so we just finished the new morphic patterns and now we're going to place the icons for heart okay i want to use the same glue that i use for the up so i'm going to copy the code copy paste and here it is great now i'm going to place the other heart um, so it's 40 by 40 and place it in the middle so i'm checking the pixels for that and okay i'm going to plug in the icons and now i'm just going to search for icons and create the buttons Remember to place them in the middle and the icons should have all of them the same size. Because I don't want to make this video too long, I'm just going to jump to the next icon which is the bell and I'm going to look which one looks better okay so i prefer this one perfect Okay, now um, for the fire icon. I think it will look cool in a linear color playing with red and orange and yellow. Copy inner shadow buttons that were created from two and I'm going to resize it to 25 by 200. Um, to copy them quickly, I am selecting the area that I want with the mouse and clicking the left click of the mouse while I am pressing Option and dragging it to the desired place. Once I know where I want to place it, I'm just going to stop pressing option and the click of the mouse i'm going to create these bars um so it looks more realistic um i recommend to create these bars with different levels let's say for the first one i'm going to do it at 50 so 20, 25 by 50 and second 39 third 140 35 fifth one i'm going i'm copying it because i want the same side to select all of them at once i am pressing shift while i'm clicking the left button of the mouse so all of these are wanted in a color so i was think using gradients here will look pretty awesome so i'm just going to play with it a bit okay until i find the color that i that i most like I like this one. I'm playing with purple, dark blue, and light blue. Now I'm dragging the inner shadow pattern that we created previously. And I'm going to change the size here. And we want 300 by 45. Okay, I'm leaving a bit of space between them. I press T with the keyboard to start writing search three dots and i'm changing the size semi bold at 12. checking okay i'm placing it in the middle so there's the same number of pixels on the top and on the bottom and then i'm going to search for an icon magnify icon and i'm changing the color to white and i'm going to reduce the size to 20 by 20.
but I'm not sure about the size I think it will look better smaller so I'm going to reduce it by a hundred so that's 200 I'm going to select these and create a group and call it search bar now I'm going to copy the pattern one that we've created previously and I'm going to resize it. This is circular 150 by 150. And then I'm going to copy the second pattern that we created. So just dragging it. And I'm reducing the size by 25 by 25. And I'm going to place it here, the right side. Okay, so now I'm going to create the lines between them. So that would be what indicates the levels. And for that, I am copying from the second pattern that we created and reducing the size by 15 by 8. And okay, as we can observe here, you cannot really appreciate it because there's this shadow, the white shadow covering. So here on spread, this would be the level of, of spread. And so I'm going to reduce it completely. And here it is. Great. Okay, so here I'm just going to pass through this really quickly, but basically I'm just copying them and placing them and turning, turning them slightly. And here I've decided that it will look, I think it will look better with less, so I'm taking a few of them away and checking the pixels, creating a rectangle of 15 by 8 and cutting off the edges to 9, making it round and to 45 degrees so it's the one at the bottom and I'm just going to place it right on top and change the color to blue. Now we're going to create a, the bar for the music app that we created on part 1 but I'm just going to make it slightly different and using more pneumorphic elements here so i'm going to so i'm creating a rectangle of 314 by 10 and edges 9 so it looks round and then i'm adding a, another rectangle of 56 by 10 and 9 the edge okay i'm selecting the first rectangle the bar and i'm going to use a shadow of X and Y2, blur 4, 30% black. And I'm adding another inner shadow of minus 2, X and Y, and blur 4. And here I'm using light gray, B7, 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 8%. I'm filling it with the color 4, 4B, 4B, 4C at 100%. And I'm placing the second bar at the big top. And I'm going to use linear color, so gradients of these three colors that we use for the volume. Okay, for the button, I'm going to check what we use on the app because I can't remember the exact size. So I'm going back to the app, checking, okay, 12 by 12 at white, and I'm adding a blue dot in the middle, bold. And size 20. Awesome! And just like that, we just created all of the great new morphic design. Now we're going to move to the app that we created on part one. 
as we work in here with new morphism, I decided to use this bar, the one that we just created, and replace it with the, the one that we already have. So that I'm creating a group so it's easy to move all the elements at once. And checking the pixels so there's the same space between them. I would like to make the bar so the filling bar more visible therefore i'm going to extend it more or less by half the size here okay 144 and i'm going to loop out the button on its place and and i'm changing the size as it's already been already playing for a while so um let's say here uh, it's been playing for a minute 53 out of 356. Okay, I'm copying the wireframe and then I'm going to delete pause icon and I'm just gonna jump to the icon blue and place it in the middle. I'm changing the seconds to a minute 52. So now we're going to prototype. I recommend to you open a new page and copy the wireframes on the new page. Okay, so now I'm going to the right side where it says prototype and I'm going to I'm going to stretch the line. So basically once I click on wireframe one, it will switch to wireframe two. Press and play and flow. And ta-da! Awesome. So we just finished. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please do share my knowledge with you. If you feel like you've learned something new and you would like to be notified on any new video that I release, click the subscribe button right here. Thanks again and I hope to see you on the next one.